What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're doing a rebuild I haven't done in quite some time as they're gonna be doing an Orlando magic rebuild where we kind of have to decide which direction we want to take on all the guards that we have here now before we get into this video though guys if you could leave a like and of course subscribe if you're new that'd be greatly greatly appreciated but the Orlando magic just had Markel Fultz return for them and we all kind of knew this would eventually come Cole Anthony Jalen Suggs, and then, of course, Markel Fultz, although he's still listed as injured here. We'll fix that in a second. And then you also have, like, RJ Henderson. So there's just so many guards here. You kind of have to, like, wonder what the direction will be for this team as far as all these young guards that they have. And we're going to kind of decide who we want to go with. I think no matter what, Cole Anthony has to be one of the guys we go with. Uh, obviously, having a great season for Orlando. Jalen Suggs is a rookie, so I'm not going to, like, sit here and give up on him just yet, obviously. But... Uh, so I think it'll most likely be that we trade away Marco Fultz, although Marco Fultz is still relatively young uh, at 23 years old. So uh, he, I don't know. It, it, it's going to be interesting. And of course, you also have Jonathan Isaac, who's 24, hasn't been able to play for Orlando very much either. So it'll definitely be interesting to see how we want to do this magic rebuild. I'm actually really excited about this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and probably trade Marco Fultz in the offseason, to be honest with you. So we're just going to celebrate the rest of the season, uh, go into the offseason and uh, kind of see what draft pick we can get. And then make some trades because we definitely need to kind of figure out what guard we need to roll with. So the Utah Jazz go on to win it all as they beat the Miami Heat in four games. If we take a look at the player stats real quick, if you guys are interested, we had 17 from Cole Anthony, 15 and a half from Franz Wagner, and then 15 from Terrence Ross, 13 from Markel Fultz, and then 13 from Wendell Carter, 12 from Jalen Suggs. Uh, I believe Jalen Suggs is averaging 12 and Cole Anthony is averaging like 17 in real life. So that's actually kind of accurate. But let's go to the draft lottery. We were one of the worst teams in the East, which is going to be good for us because obviously a lottery pick is going to be nice to have. We need to draft a uh, big man, I think, for sure. We're projected number one overall. Hopefully, we're able to get that. And then I think next year, we'll have Chicago's pick as well. So hopefully, that ends up turning it into our favor. But can we stay in the top four, please? And of course, we drop all the way to number five. Why would we stay in the top four? That's just something that doesn't happen to me. So Grizzlies get the number one pick via the Lakers, which is just insane to me. Why? Ah, I, that sucks. Okay. So the Grizzlies have the number one overall pick. We have number five because we fell. And then next year, like I said, we should have uh chicago's pick from the nikola vucevic trade so head coaching offers uh, i can't even remember who orlando's head coach was it's literally on the tip of my tongue but i can't remember who it was what his name for sure oh I, was no not west unselled forgot what his name was and i feel like an idiot right now but i'm not gonna worry about it too much i'm sure someone will let me you know remind me and it's gonna it's gonna hit me immediately so um who do we want to get for head coach i mean taylor jenkins got jeff warnesek I guess I'll just go for like Taylor Jenkins to be my head coach and then we'll go get a perimeter defensive coach as well. Not sure why it's showing me GMs. That does not matter to me. So we'll get Chip Young and uh, we'll sign Chip Young, but we're not going to get a head coach. So I'm going to fill this out real quick and then uh, we'll move on to the draft. Jamal Mosley was the name I was forgetting, but on draft night, we have the fifth pick and we also have uh, a couple early second rounders, which is cool. So uh, let's take a look at what we got. So we have Terrence Ross, who I think I obviously want to trade here. He's been in trade rumors for quite some time. So let's just try to see if we can get like a late pick for him potentially, uh, hopefully. I mean, somebody just wants to give me like a late first round pick. Lakers give me Taylor Ward Tucker and a 2026 first. I actually wouldn't mind that. That might be my best offer, the most uh, Chris Paul. I'm not going to do that though. Chris Paul doesn't make any sense here. So I'm going to go and uh, take that offer because it's the best one I've seen. We get THT in a 2026 first. Lakers get themselves Terrence Ross, I guess, if they're really that desperate. I don't know. They probably wouldn't do that in real life, but I don't care about the Lakers today. So, um, is there anyone else? Mark Hill Fultz, like I said, is going to be somebody I'm probably going to trade away as well. I hate to do it to him, but since we already have Suggs and Cole Anthony, I kind of want to probably get rid of Mark Hill Fultz and get something for him in return. May not be here on draft night. I might wait. So, we'll probably draft first and uh, see what we can get at number five. Hopefully... We get somebody to drop to me. Mo Bomb is going to be a free, agent, a free agent. Paolo Boncaro, Jabari Smith. So obviously would have loved to have had either of these guys. But unfortunately, we're not going to get that lucky. Tata Washington, AJ Griffin. And Jaden Ivey is here. But I don't... Oh, Chet Holmgren is still here. I didn't even I didn't even think about that. And that's who I'm taking. We're definitely going to take Chet Holmgren. No doubt in my mind at number five. That's a great, great pickup. So I'm happy about that. So that kind of uh, probably leaves Mo Bomb on the outside looking in, to be honest. Probably... Not going to be as interested in resigning Mo Bamba now that we have. Uh, unless we get Mo Bamba back for like a bench roll, which I wouldn't mind necessarily, but we'll see. Um, and I'm kind of trying to stay away from uh, guards here just because we have so many already. So just like that, we come out of Chet Holmgren. At number that is such a fantastic pick. I'm so happy with that. So the draft, uh, pretty good there. But Maurice Wagner will keep him as well. Ball flying covers Bull Bull. I, got I honestly forgot they got Bull Bull as well in that trade. Mo Bamba. I am going to offer a restricted offer, but I don't know if we'll keep him. We'll see. 
And then uh, free agency, Mohamed Bamba, Bull Bull. So let's see. So we got, looking at the team, we have Cole Anthony, Markel Fultz, which of course we're going to make a decision on. We have Jalen Suggs and RJ Hampton. So we'll probably start Jalen Suggs and Cole Anthony for the remainder of the video and probably move Markel Fultz. I think that's the plan anyway. Then Franz Wagner and Dylan Horton Tucker, which is great. And then Jonathan Isaac and then Wendell Carter and Chumo Kiki. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see. We might have to make a decision on Jonathan Isaac as well. Or we could technically what we could do is we could move Wendell Carter more to a bench role if we wanted to and have him play center. Because I don't know, I feel like I'd like that a little bit more. We did draft a young center in the second round as well. So I don't know. We'll see. And then Jonathan Isaac, I guess we could let resume at power forward because, you know, he has good potential. It's just a matter of being able to stay on the court. So I don't know. But I think we're going to go ahead and start this off, like I said, with a Markel Folds trade. Where would Markel Folds potentially fit best? Just because I feel like he deserves an opportunity somewhere else at 24 years old to go succeed somewhere else. So I'm going to do this for him and uh, see where he would make sense for a team around the league. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a player props website that allows you to go over or unders on NBA players. That way you watch the game and have a lot of fun with it. So for example, this is what it would look like on desktop. Also kind of looks like this, obviously, on your phone. But you just simply pick two, three, four, five players, however many you want to choose. And you just simply click over, over, under, under, whatever you want to do. And then you can either three times your money, five times your money, even ten times your money as long as you get all four right. Even if you wanted to do power plays or flex plays, it really does not matter. Either way, it works out however you want it to. So if you guys want to join Prize Fix, the link's in the description. Use my promo code CRUSHABLES when you sign up. So we're going to do this trade with the Oklahoma City Thunder. We're going to send Fultz over to Oklahoma City who could take on a young player that might have a little bit of potential left in him. And Oklahoma City gets a really solid player. We get two picks in return. And I originally only asked for one, but they counter offered it with this. So sure, I'll take a uh, first from LA and then a 23-3 lottery protected from Miami. So we're going to make this trade happen. I think Markel Fultz gets to go to a good situation in Oklahoma City. Maybe become a starter there as well. That could be interesting if something like that could happen in real life. You could have Shea and... Markel Fultz in the backcourt, maybe, or something like that, maybe in the future. I mean, they already have Josh Giddy, but they can move Josh Giddy maybe to the three or something. I don't know. It'll definitely be interesting, but I just said Markel Fultz over to Oklahoma City, and uh, we'll go ahead and start, you know, resume rebuilding the Thunder. So, not the Thunder, the Magic. My apologies. Okay. So, I think I kind of have my rotation that I want. I do not want to keep Derek Favors. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to release him because I didn't really want him. I just wanted him for the salary filler uh, for that trade. So, we release Markel, or not Markel Fultz, Derek Favors, and then. I don't think I'll be bringing back Mo Bamba now, uh, just because obviously we kind of already have uh, a lot of players as it is. So I'm just going to renounce Mo Bamba and we're just going to roll with that. So Mo Bamba, I won't renounce Bo Bo though. I'll keep Bo Bo around and then uh, Bo Bo is out here. I don't think I'm going to be signing anyone else. Although we have money, I'm just going to wait for Bo Bo. I don't think he'll get an offer, but let's just double check. And he does not. So Bo Bo is back on this team. Cole Anthony is up to an 83. Wendell Carter is up to an 83. Franz Wagner, 81. Isaac is 81. So, uh, John and Isaac finally gets to start this year. We added Chet Holmgren to this roster, and I'm really excited about that. So, really feeling like this team is headed in the right direction now that we kind of have our backcourt that we want to rely on for the future. Is Jalen Suggs and Cole Anthony going to be the backcourt, though, that could become successful one day? Let me know what you guys think. I, I mean, or should they trade Jalen Suggs, or should they trade Cole Anthony? Maybe you're on that party. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, or maybe they should keep all three. Let me know what y'all think out there. But Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner, Isaac, Wendell Carter, Chet Holmgren. I'm going to start Chet Holmgren over uh, Wendell Carter. I'm sorry. And then Tony Horn Tucker, Maurice Wagner, and then Chumo Kiki. And then they have a couple of guys out of the rotation, obviously, down here. But we're going to simulate this season. No expectations going into it. If we're good, we're good. I'm happy about it. If we suck, that's fine, too. So uh, let's try to get a three-star system, though. Seven seconds. Was it a three-star? It was. But... Well, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's do seven seconds today. We'll, we'll roll with seven seconds. We'll simulate this first season. I guess second season, I should say. And uh, we'll see if we can maybe potentially be good somehow. I don't think we will, but you never really know with this game. So at the end of the season, we actually ended up making the playoffs as a sixth seed in the East. I guess I can't be too surprised. It's uh, I see the magic in the playoffs a lot, and 2K at least. MVP goes to Tatum. Washington's rookie of the year. Zubash is your sixth man. Giannis defensive player. Kevin Hurd, your most approved. And I'm you go uh, <coughs> Yudoka is your coach of the year. And executive of the year goes to... Mr. Park, and here's your NBA first team. I assume we don't have any Magic players, but I mean, we got to see who is uh, kind of balling out for this team in order for us to get into the postseason. No play-in tournament. We had 21 from Cole Anthony, so I think we made a pretty good decision. 15 from Jalen Suggs, 14 from Wagner, and then 14 from uh, Taylor Horton Tucker, then 12 and a half from Wendell Carter, 12 or 11 from 
Shelhomgren, and then nine and a half from Wagner or Wagner. I think it's Wagner. So my apologies. Nine and a half from Jonathan Isaac. So um, we're playing the Atlanta Hawks in the first round. So it's exciting that we're even here at this point. So we'll, we'll just go in with little to no expectations. I mean, this is a good young team. They have a lot of good young pieces. So I really think we might be able to accomplish something in this postseason. So many current round against Atlanta. And what did I just say? We just swept the Atlanta Hawks just like that. And now I get to play the Chicago Bulls, who ended up being pretty good. So unfortunately, their draft pick is going to be that great for us. But they have Lonzo, Levine, DeRozan, Williams, Vucevic. I mean, I'd be surprised if we beat the Chicago Bulls here. But again, it is 2K. So I don't know, man. And like I said, it is 2K. So am I shocked? Not really. We're already in the East Conference Finals, and I've barely done anything, I feel like. So Derek White, Jalen Brown, Tatum, Anderson, and Robert Williams. I actually kind of like uh, Connor, Kyle Anderson there in Boston. And then with uh, Derek White, of course, as they picked up. And then... So, I mean, do we really make it to the finals this soon? Okay, we got swept. All right, that's fine. Somebody current round, and they'll just go on and win it all over the Golden State Warriors. All right, draft lottery time. Speaking of Celtics, prayers for Jalen Brown, for sure. Uh, that, that did not look good yesterday. But um, picks. We do not have a lottery pick from the Chicago Bulls. Very unfortunate. But we are going to have their 28th pick. Damn. So, it's only 28, and then we end up having pick number 20. So, Two first round picks in this draft is cool, but not any lottery picks, which is a little upsetting, but it's okay. Guard Guru will grab, and then we'll grab a shot doctor real quick. And then uh, I think we'll be ready. So let's go to a shot doctor and we'll be ready to go to free agency and see if there's anything else we want to do. So uh, we'll sign. We did not get a guard guru. So let's go try that again. Get Carson instead. Uh, there we go. Let's go to draft night. So on draft night, 20 and 28. Is there anybody here? I would like to package 20 and 28 with to trade them away. So obviously it'd be between like Wendell Carter. We could potentially trade we could trade away Wendell Carter technically, because we do have a backup center that we drafted in the second round to back up Chet Holmgren if we wanted to. Or we could keep Wendell Carter as well. It doesn't really matter. Either way, I actually have three first round picks in this draft. My apologies. Um, I don't know. Should we do something crazy? I mean, we could technically pull something off here, it looks like. So maybe we do maybe we do it. Maybe we do find something to pull off here. To change things up a little bit, looks like we're going to be trying to get Michael Porter Jr. from the Denver Nuggets. Somebody I usually never try to trade for. So we have Wendell Carter here who I do want to throw uh, to the Nuggets. And then we're going to offer two of our picks here in this draft and see if that would entice him a little bit. Obviously, Michael Porter Jr. is a little bit of a risk because of his back injury. But in 2K, we're not really concerned about that. So Wendell Carter, two first round picks for MPJ. They do not agree immediately. Or what we could do technically instead is throw Isaac in this trade instead of Michael Porter, uh, or instead of uh, Wendell Carter, I should say. So we'll, we'll try to do that. Let's throw Jonathan Isaac in here since we are going to be getting rid of him. So three first round picks uh, for Michael Porter. They don't agree. Uh, I'll offer you 26 as well. They still don't agree. Or do we do both in this trade? Is that, I don't know. My, that might be too much. Let's say, let's say we technically did offer this. So Jonathan Isaac and Wendell Carter for Michael Porter Jr. They do not agree. Wow. Okay. 20. They still don't agree. And I'll offer you 28. And they still do not agree. Wow. Um, is this like, I'm kind of overpaying. One more pick. Wow. Okay. Michael Porter Jr. is a lot harder than I thought it would be to get him. You know what? I'm going for it. I don't care. They agree. All right. We got Michael Porter Jr. I wanted to change things up a little bit. Never, ever trade for Michael Porter Jr. So I'm going to move him to power forward because he has 6'10". And then we'll have uh, Franz Wagner uh, play power. Or we could have, does he go up? Uh I mean, we could have either playing power forward, to be honest. It really doesn't matter. So, you know what? We'll move Fonz Wagner there instead. So, we'll have Michael Porter Jr. here and Orlando now paired up with Cole Anthony and Jalen Suggs and then Chet Holmgren. So, I kind of like that fit. I, I like that. So, another score here is going to be a lot of fun. Obviously, got rid of uh, some decent defenders by doing that trade. But, uh, you know what? Yeah, kind of fun. I, I just wanted to change things up a little bit for you guys. So, let's go straight to player options and uh, let's see what we can get. So, uh, Chumo Kiki, I'm going to accept and I'm going to accept Harrison Ingram. And I'm going to accept uh, our backup center because I just got rid of our backup and Wendell Carter. And then Bull Bull and Bros Dekes, I didn't even know was still in the league, to be honest with you. But looking at the team now, it's Cole Anthony running the point. You got Jalen Suggs running the two, MPJ, and then Harrison Ingram, then Franz Wagner, and then Chumo Kiki, which is great. And then you got Chet Holmgren and Oscar. So yeah, I really like this. Although Oscar looks like he is, uh, uh, is he upset with us? Because he's going down an overall, I don't know. But maybe we get another backup center just in case. That way we're not just like running in and then a backup guard. So you know what? I think a backup center and a backup guard. Although, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll depend on uh, our backup center developing. So never mind. I'm going to go get Shake Milton free agency to be our backup guard though. I kind of like that idea. So Bull, uh, Bull, Bull, we will not renounce. We'll have uh, that. And then centers that we might want to go for just in case. Is there anybody? You can go for Nas Reed on technically. He's unrestricted or Claxton is restricted. 
Jakob Podol, Moses Brown is unrestricted. So just to be on the safer side, I guess I'll sign Moses Brown to be my backup big man. And then that'll be it. So player progression wise, let's go take a look at it. We get a couple guys back and then MPJ is up to an 88. Home runs up to an 85. And yeah, I'm really liking how this Orlando team is starting to shape up. Obviously, we made a big acquisition by getting Michael Porter from Denver. Gave up a lot to do it. I thought it was worth it as far as making a different kind of trade in uh, my videos because I haven't done that in quite some time. Obviously, it was a little bit of an overpay, though, at the end of the day. But taking a look at the lineup, nine rotation, Jalen Suggs, Cole Anthony, MPJ, Franz Wagner, Chaholm Grin, Jake Milton, Moses Brown, Chumo Kiki, and then Oscar. So proficiency-wise, we are sitting at a three and a half, seven seconds. It doesn't look like it'll be a four-star anywhere. All right, so let's simulate this uh, third season. Made the playoffs last year and got all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, adding Michael Porter Jr., does that make us better or does it make it worse? MVP goes to Giannis Antetokounmpo. Victor wins Rookie of the Year on the Houston Rockets. Wendell Carter's your sixth man in Denver, which we obviously traded him away. Giannis is a defensive player. And then Jalen Suggs, your most approved in Orlando, which is awesome. So I'm glad we didn't move on from him. I'm finally starting to uh, develop into a great player for us. And then that is it for rewards. Here's your All-NBA first team, All-NBA second team, and then All-NBA third team, All-Defensive uh, first team and All-Defensive second team, All-Rookie team. I don't believe we had any rookies technically playing in the rotation, so that makes sense. And we're the first seed in the East, so yeah, not too surprised. Obviously, Orlando ends up being pretty damn good in this simulation. We had 18 from MPJ, 18 from Anthony, and then 18 from Jalen Suggs. Then Shake Milton, okay, 18 off the bench for us. His shots and seem must be jacked up in this foul or something, man. I'll take it though. I'll definitely take it. Shake Milton's shot tendency is a 78, so it's not even that crazy. Uh, almost better than Cole Anthony's. All right, well, whatever. All right, let's see if uh, we can uh, go to the East Conference Finals again, shall we? Beat Atlanta last year, so I assume we should be able to do it again. But they're the AFC this time, so of course they're gonna eliminate us this time. <laughs> yep. Why would why would it be different? Why would you? Why when I'm the first seed and Atlanta's the eighth seed, why would I beat them? That doesn't make any sense. It just that just doesn't make sense in this game. If you're the eighth seed, you're the best team in the league. It's just how it is in 2K. So. I'm just going to run it back, same roster. I really don't see myself getting anything, doing anything crazy this off. Wow. Thunder galore here. They got 5, 8, 11, and, or they got 5, 11, and 12. That was a lot of picks projected to go to Oklahoma City. But that's it for me. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and run it back with the same roster. I'm not going to change too much. I, I'm just going to continue to rely on development, to be honest to be honest with you. And then maybe this time we won't get eliminated by an eighth, by an eighth seed. We pretty much ran it back with this same roster, and we ended up being the fourth seed in the East this year. Player stats-wise, we had 20 from Michael Porter, 18 from Suggs, 15 from Shake Milton, and then 15 from Cole Anthony. So kind of a collective effort here, to be honest with you. So um, we'll just go ahead and see if we can get past the first round this year. Made it to the East Conference Finals in the very first year, and then obviously got uh, swept by the eighth seed last year. So or I don't even remember if we got swept. We lost. That's all that matters. Somebody current round against Detroit. And uh, we are going to lose in five, aren't we? And okay, maybe we come back here. Nope, we lose in six. Well, I'm done with this game because I just can't do it anymore. Atlanta, Detroit, and then you got Boston winning it all three times. Okay, well, uh, anyway, Matt, Orlando Magic is in a really good position. They just got to make a decision on which guard they're going to go with. I assume Fultz and Isaac will eventually be traded. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe Orlando sees them as guys for the foreseeable future. Thought we put together a pretty good team, but after getting beat by the AFC last year, I'm, I'm kind of over it. Thank you guys for watching. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.